Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol BCRX for BioChrist Pharma. On the left-hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right-hand side, the 30-minute intraday time frame. First things first, this will, of course, be an update. You can see some of our older, outdated levels from up around here. I want to clear the drawing set. Whoa, I want to clear it, and then start from scratch. That way we have clarity, and we're not being distracted by older levels. So coming back in for that daily roadmap, just pointing out the most obvious areas of support and resistance, then we'll talk more nuance as we draw down to the 30 minute. For now, I would just point out that we're stuck in an area of balance. And don't get me wrong, over the past couple of weeks here, giving ourselves the 100% retracement type of treatment, uh, it's very rare, generally speaking, that you just smash through the lower end on a 100% retracement. Generally, what happens is you get some sort of dead cat bounce, a lower high, a reattempt, and then it breaks down, correct? So to me, that would be the likely scenario to start watching for inside of BCRX. Now, where would that lower high come in? I would just take out the Fibonacci from the daily come in from the top here down to the low as long as we essentially remain underneath uh, $12.50 roughly that's going to give us a clean lower high for bear flag consolidation so we'll pop that on take off the fibs now and again let's draw it out so something that would look like this is bear flag consolidation anything that's ping pong back and forth around 12 with wiggle room excuse me up to 12.50 and down to 11.50 about a dollar's worth of wiggle room is fine right bear flag consolidation eventually looking for the breakdown down to bring us closer to, let's go ahead and scrunch up the chart and find a target together, uh, I would start looking at this, right? So firstly, we're at 11, so about a 50 cent flush point in play. It's also the fake break lows from around in here. Anything underneath that does get even more nasty, bringing us closer to about $9.50. So there you go, there's about a $2 move available net-net if the full breakdown does occur. That's what I'm seeing from the daily time frame chart, but again, I want you to keep in mind, after one, two, three, four aggressive days down, I would be on the lookout first for a little little bit of a sympathy bounce, especially as we come into the bottom end of the range, lower high as we know, then the breakdown can officially happen. Quick look at the 30 minute, then we'll send you on your way. I would just take out the Fibonacci's and clearly illustrate here that of course, we do have a very bearish close. Even if I were to do something like this, measure the first move, little dead cat bounce here, never even came close to the 38.2, coming in from the high down to the true low. Again, there's your 38.2 on the intraday. Looking at about 11.94, I would just say $12 even. If we remain underneath that. Again, that's more information that the market's telling you saying, hey, we're not even going to make it to this level here. Watch out. Look out below. Maybe the breakdown is going to come a little bit sooner than we anticipate. So those are my thoughts inside of BCRX. If there's going to be a bigger reversal, we have to take out 1250, right? If that gets taken out to the upside, fine. We may be able to shift our perspective for a rotation back up towards the top end of the range. But as of right now, it's not looking so hot inside of BCRX. That's going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it today or learned anything new, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.